I'm here today with Elizabeth from One Fish Two Fish ROC. Come see what we're doing. All we're right. going to make a big mess. Yes, we're about to make a very big mess, everybody. So <laughs> go grab yourself a drink and a snack and prepare to be entertained. I think. <laughs> so. <And I'm... laughs> oh boy. So we're going to get started, and you're going to see bits and clips. Stay tuned. It's going to be fun. Hey everybody, it's Suzy Q and I'm here to show you just what I do. I have a passion for fish and exotics too, so come along with me, it's Suzy Q. Hey. Welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. My name's Suzy and today we're going to take a very special tour. I went to visit my friend Elizabeth up in Rochester, New York, and we made a whole event out of it from store tours, fish swapping, bird stores. We went all over the place and we had a blast. We met up with Cassie. Today I want to give you a tour of Elizabeth's fish room, fish apartment. Her whole apartment is filled with gorgeous fish and plants. So let's take a look. Sick yellow looking. Wait, let me turn. See, it's, what happens is there's still tannins leaking out of this thing. I can it, tell. It gets very yellowy. Beautiful. Look at these <gasps> What are those little plants? That is, believe it or not, that four leaf clover and it changes into that when it spreads. Gorgeous. And it's slowly spreading. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Yeah, the Crinum Natans I acquired in around the end of March. And it was just like a little onion bulb, but it's gotten big. And then there's another smaller one in there too. The Madagascar. Oh, that thing! I gotta turn it back. Is it's that an owl or a cat? It's an owl, and she, as so you can cute. tell, she's tipped over. So when I clean the tank here, I'll upright her. It's a 40-gallon breeder, right? Yeah. Oh wow! It looks so good. Wait till you see it in here. Pencil fish, everybody. I think they'll do okay. And then Is that I. A, what kind of stir by? That's what I have. But I kind of, yeah, those are really, really good. Um, Is that your filtration or just moves water? No, there's a sponge, double sponge in the back. Or, no, there, that one has a single sponge. The one up above has a double sponge. This is, there's one in here that was the only one that survived out of the last, he's about that big. So there's one in here. And then the two in here were from the original um, December spawn. I'll have to find my bug bites are here somewhere. And these were the ones that were just spawned a couple those days were, ago. Yeah, those just spawned. Um, they just fully hatched about 24 hours or so ago. So how do you get them out of this tank? Do you pull out the whole cave? I pull out the entire pod. I put a divider in here. Then the pod sits in here. With the mom. With the mom. And either in this time the mom kicked them out. It was I 
love them. He's good at these. Frickin' lumpy dog. Yeah? Oh yeah, his are beautiful. He's really good at it. Lumpy dog in the house. I know, lumpy dog. I like when, uh, when Aquafunk imitates him. Lumpy dog. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, you two, stop sulking. Oh god, that poor filter knocked over. I have to move it. All the uh, crinum looks so good. They're weaving in and out of it. Yeah. It just looks crinum. so good. And, then and over here, there's no glare. Crip balancing, too. It's there's babies in the little cup up above, but... I need boys. I gotta get boys. Why aren't they in the same tank? Will they eat them? Yeah, well, they're getting big enough. Yeah, they will. They are notorious at eating their own fried. Oh. Notorious. I don't know if you can see them or not. Oh, yeah. Darting around, yeah. Sparkling garamis and then the pygmy. And then there's one pair of my blue eyed neon red rainbows that I'm waiting for Cassie to find more of. There's just one pair left. Corey's, you know, little pygmies. This is awesome. Yeah, I love this setup. This is, I'm very pleased with this. And if I, you know, if I build that shelf, then... Oh, yeah. Then I'll be able oh, look to at these. Are these just generic? No, those are Donnie's, but I've got generic ones in there with ah, them. Lots of babies. There's a lot. Oh my gosh. Like way too many. See, I thought maybe I would see for them to hide. In other words, I want to do just like I have in the other tank over here. Mostly pods on the bottom with um, spider wood. You know, so that they can't get way up in the... one. Is the other one out? Nope. They'll get their color pretty quick. I can't get over how pale they look. Oh, uh, if they've been traveling. Whoops. No. And I imagine... Come on, get out of there. There you go, sweetie. There you go. That's a theme. What's your pH? Uh, about... About seven six seven eight. Wow. It's seven eight out of the tap. It's pretty high up here. We got a lot of dolomite and um, we sit up on a pretty big rock shelf. Shale, we have some shale. You guys have a lot of shale, of course. Oil. 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 Let's see. Here we go. We got a little one. We got a little one. So look at my new toy I got. This is a seventy gallon Rubbermaid. With the, what kind of filter is this called? That is a Skippy filter, basically. A Skippy filter, handmade by One Fish, Two Fish, ROC. <laughs> and if you've ever seen her do her DIYs, gotta check them out. One Fish, Two Fish, ROC, Skippy filter. <laughs> and there are some beautiful goldfish in here that I'm bringing home with me. Stay tuned for the upcoming video where I release these goldfish into my pond and I'll show you all the goodies that I got out of uh, Rochester event. Stay tuned guys and I'll see you next time. Hey everybody, it's Susie Q. Hey everybody, it's Susie Q. Nah, nah, hey everybody, it's Susie Q. So come along with me. Said I'm Susie Q